Hello and welcome back to my channel Armor Crawl. In this video today I'd like to talk about my brand new LG CX65 inch and I have four topics for you which I'd like to discuss with you or explain to you. And number one is uniformity test from the panel. So I like to see or uh, share with you if there's any bending or dirty screen effects. Number two is uh, I like to talk about motion from this panel in comparison with my a gaming monitor, the AOC gaming monitor, which I uh, reviewed in another video from my, on my channel. Number three is I will do some gaming tests and I will especially talk about G-Sync, variable refresh rate and freezing and uh, why I can't use it at the moment. And number four is uh, uh, calibration. So I will give you a quick overview on calibration and I will say uh, we straight away be starting with the uniformity test. So for the uniformity test, we're starting with a 30% grayscale test pattern. And as far as I can tell you, I can't see any issue with this panel so far, but have a look for yourself. And now what we're doing is just the switching to 70%, just to make sure in the, the brighter grayscale, we don't have any issue, but the same here, I can't see any, really any problem at the moment. So I'm very happy with this panel and we're moving on to the colors as well. So we're starting with red. And again, I can't see any problem, no stripes, no bars, nothing. Just perfect at the moment. The same for green. There are probably minor lines here when you look very closely, but this is really just minor, really. The same with blue. That's the same, it's just, it's really nice. Compared to my old LCD screen, this is perfect. Really. Okay, I would say we're moving on to the motion test and I will show you how uh, the, this OLED performs uh, against my gaming monitor. So for the motion test, I'm using the UFO ghosting test. Uh, the link is in the description below, so try it out on your screen. And what I can tell you, this is amazing. This is perfect. This is I don't know more English words to be honest, but this is so great in comparison to my gaming monitor, which you can see here now. And what you can see on my gaming monitor is a lot of ghosting, a lot of blurring. And just keep in mind, both of the monitors, the, the OLED and the gaming monitor running at, at the moment on 1440p and 120 hertz. So it's exactly the same settings. But what you can see here is, this is just so much better. So after I played a couple of hours on my new old LED, I didn't touch my gaming monitor at all. So actually I'm considering to selling it because um, the performance is just very bad against this one. Okay, moving on to gaming tests. So gaming on this OLED is very nice, but it will be perfect if I could use G-Sync, VRR or FreeSync. So it looks like my 1080 Ti in this computer is not compatible with this G-Sync in, inside the OLED, like on uh, the previous model, the C9. So I know there was a like a hack what you can use on your computer to make a uh, G-Sync run. So I tried the same solution on this computer, but I wasn't able to get G-Sync to run. So if you have any idea how I could get my 1080 Ti to work with G-Sync on this CX, then I would much appreciate this. But the same for FreeSync. So if you look on the website from LG, they mentioned that uh, FreeSync is not available at the moment. So we need to wait for a software update. So I tried this already. I used a different computer with an AMD graphic card, but there was no freezing option whatsoever. 
And unfortunately, I don't own an Xbox, so I can't test the VRR, but I know from a couple of YouTube videos already, VRR is working just as fine with this TV, so no worries about this. I'm just waiting to get um, cheesing running, and to be honest, I don't want to buy a new graphic card just to get this feature, because I still think the 1080 Ti is still a very good graphic card, and there's no need at the moment. Uh, for an upgrade, especially if I'm just playing at 4040p. So I'm more than able to run this game in 120 hertz in ultra settings in 1440p. So there's no issue at all. The only thing what I'm really waiting is, please make the 1080 Ti compatible with this TV. Thank you. And now we're moving uh, to a couple of gaming tests. I show you a couple of gamings. The games uh, I hope you can see the, the superb picture quality on YouTube because this again this OLED is just perfect for gaming not just for gaming for everything else as well but especially for gaming because of the fast response time what you have seen in the motion tests and of course the input lag in um, 120 Hertz in 4040p is just around 8 milliseconds I think and this is a very good result okay so let's have a look
So for the calibration, again, I used my I1 uh, display colorimeter from X-Ray and also the HCFR colorimeter software. And I just show you what my results are. Uh, I did the, uh, color, uh, the calibration on Expert Brightroom Gaming HDR and the normal gaming. And we just start with the normal gaming. And just keep in mind, I just used the two-point calibration method at the moment. So I didn't touch the 10-point or the 22-point uh, calibration method so far. And I haven't touched uh, the color management at all at the moment. So that's what you can see here is just the two-point calibration. And when I'm talking about two-point calibration, let me show you this, what I'm talking about. If you go to advanced controls and you go to white balance, you can choose on method. You can choose from two point, you can change 10 or 22 points, which uh, just make, you have more options to calibrate the different gray scale over the 100% gray scale. So that's all what you can choose here. So I just did two points, which means you have a low point and you have a high point. That's all what I did so far, nothing else. And for this, if you look at this, I'm very impressed with the result. So this is uh, the normal gaming, and that's uh, the color uh, space from, I haven't touched uh, the color management at all. So this is very accurate for out of the box, absolutely. So I'm very happy with this one. If you have a look on the gaming HDR, grayscale, also very good. If you can see the delta E arrows, everything is below one. So the highest is 0 0.8, which is very, very good. The only thing what uh, I need to do in HDR, the color space uh, is a little bit too wide, too extended, but I will touch this later on. Uh, in my next video, when I do a, a very detailed video about calibration this TV. Uh, so far, at the moment, I'm happy with this. And I also did a quick calibration in the Expert Brightroom. And again, you can see the highest point is 1.0 at 50%. So you have a slightly discrepance at 50%, but that's really just a minor thing. And again, the color space without touching any, anything in the color management so far, very good result. So I think that's from here for this video today. And in my next video, I'm especially talking about calibration with my I1 and from x uh, how to calibrate and how to get the best result out of the TV. And yeah, that's from my side for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave me a couple of comments uh, what to improve. And if you have any questions, just ask. And if you think I did something wrong, just tell me. I'm happy to learn. And yeah, please subscribe and see you next time. Thank you.